All right, so now we're going to get into building a bootstrap carousel, which is basically a, a slideshow of images. And we're going to put this on the Innovate page right between this Innovate and Learn. So if we go to get start getbootstrap.com and we want to be at JavaScript, scroll down to Carousel, and they give us some examples so we can slide our images. You can also add captions like this. So what I'm going to do is copy this markup. It also gives us the uh, glyphicons for the arrows for the forward and previous arrows. So let's open up innovate.html and we want to find that spot. So we want to go below all the modal code. And we want it to go right here. Whoop. And I just want to throw in a comment so we know that this is a carousel. And I'm just going to format it. If you're using NetBeans, Shift Alt F will format your code. All right, so what do we have here? We have a main div with some with an attribute of data ride, and that has to equal carousel. And we have this ordered list of carousel indicators, and down here where it says wrapper for slides, we need one of these for every slide that we create. I'm sorry, one of these. We don't want to include the carousel inner. There's only one of those. We're only copying the item divs. And what we're going to do is put our images here in the SRC and our captions here. So we're going to have three different images. So I'm going to copy this. And whichever whichever div that we have the class of active on is going to display when the page loads so if we keep it like this we're going to have three images on top of each other so we want to remove active from the second and third now I've created a couple images which should be in your program files so I'm going to grab it from the original project and that is these these three create learn and teach images so I'm going to just bring those over to our template paste out paste those in so we have slide create slide learn slide teach slide create uh, I'm sorry slide learn is going to be the first one so this is going to be an images slide learn dot jpeg and we'll just give it an alt tag of learn and for a caption I don't know we'll just say learn web technologies and for the second one is going to be images slash uh, create what is it uh, slide create JPEG oh. and up here I forgot the N so we'll say create and say create web masterpieces and now we want images slash um, what is it? Slide teach dot JPEG teach say share your knowledge. All right. Actually, hold on. Alright, so let's get rid of these dots. 
and then under that we have the controls which are all set for us you can also customize them if you'd like different arrows or images um, things like that so let's save this go to our innovate page alright so that looks good learn create teach so it's a very clean very smooth slider you can use these as well and you could add more caption you could put a heading and then have the small text um, but yeah I think that looks really good we have our arrows and when we hover over the arrows we see this shadow so it's really nice alright so what I want to do now is on the about page I want to have a little um, accordion menu Bootstrap actually calls it a collapse or a collapse menu. So if we go to Bootstrap and we click on collapse, we have an example here. Okay, so we have this first uh, area of text, and then we can click on this tab, brings some more text up. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, and then we have the code here. It's quite a bit of code of markup. Um, so let's grab this just grab all of it whoop forgot that last div so we'll copy that and we want to go to our about page scroll down to this is going to be in the sidebar right here collapse here I'm going to paste that in, format it up. All right, so let's actually see what we have now. Okay. So it's working, and I do want only the top one to have a blue background. And we also want to add some margin here or at least a line break and we also want to change the titles so let's go back and as far as the coloring let's open up our CSS file I'm not sure why it's even colored I didn't I didn't think I added that style yet but I must have panel heading custom CSS oh yeah I did alright so I have it for panel heading but I want to single out just the top one and leave these two gray so what I'm gonna do is this is the start of the panel group and then we have div class panel heading on each one for the top one I'm gonna say uh, blue heading or panel blue heading and then in the CSS, let's see. Where did I even add that? Oh, I see what's going on. This is the, the actual, if we go to the home page, it's for this panel here. We actually made all panel headings blue so huh so let's go back to the index page and go to that panel heading and let's add that blue div class panel heading say panel blue heading and then we'll change this take that off so panel blue heading alright alright so now our, our top ones blue and the others are gray 
but we want white lettering. I guess that's not going through, so we need to put the important keyword that'll make the text white on the home as well. Okay? And I also don't want that line when we hover over these. So let's see. So let's we'll just use panel. So we'll say panel A hover text decoration none. And that should do it. Okay. So only our top one is blue. If you wanted to make this dynamic, you could have the active one blue. Um, but that's we're not going to do that right now. So we let's add a line break because this is right on top of that. So in the about page, right above list group, let's add in some br tags. All right. Actually, we'll just leave one one br tag. There. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I'm on this very low resolution, and we can't see the whole page. But it's actually it's looking really good. We have all kinds of functionality here. We have our, our modal, our collapsible menus or accordions, uh, a list group, tabs. So we, we got a lot going on with uh, a minimal amount of code, and or well, at least a, a minimal amount of work. A lot of this was just copying and pasting so um, it's really coming together well it is coming it has came together so this is basically the final the final um, version you could all you could go in and, and change some stuff if you want maybe take some stuff out um, you could use this as a base template for new projects to come so uh, I've had a really nice time creating this and I hope you learned a lot and I think that's it. So thank you.